What's going on Trailblazers? Sam here, back at it again for another video. And in today's video, I wanted to talk about the new four-star unit coming to Honkai Star Rail, Gwaniafin. So let's jump into it. Now, Gwaniafin, or as I'm going to refer to her as Lady G, because I have no idea how to properly say her name, because I am an uncultured swine, so forgive me. So Lady G is a four-star fire character who follows the path of Nihility, and kind of what she specializes in for a really high level view is she's really good at applying burns and she increases damage to enemies that are burnt. So kind of jumping into her kit overall, uh, her basic attack and her talent, her basic attack standing ovation, she dumps, jumps into the air. This girl's got some serious hops. I don't know who's more athletic, her or LeBron James, but she deals fire damage to a single enemy. Now her talent, which it makes up, I'd say the vast majority of her kit, Patreon benefits. While she's on the field, there is a chance to apply Fire Kiss to an enemy after their burn status causes damage. Essentially, what Fire Kiss does is enemies that are, have this status effect receive more damage. Now, it lasts for a set number of turns. It can stack a multiple of times. So I think depending on how many turns it lasts and how many stacks it can have, I think that's going to be a major defining character of her kit. Let's say it lasts for three turns. I'd say that's pretty solid if it can stack three to four times, kind of like wind shear from Sampo, I think that could actually be pretty effective. So I'm, I'm really intrigued to see how effective Fire Kiss is. And like I said, if it can stack and last uh, as long as uh, wind shear, I do think she could be very good for DOT team specifically. Now jumping on over to her technique, uh, she hurls her bomb firework thing. She kind of has this Tom Brady impersonation. Honestly, this girl's got an arm. Uh, immediately attacks the enemy after entering battle, deals damage for a set number of times. When each enemy, when each hit deals fire damage to a random single enemy and has a chance of inflicting fire kiss. This is really interesting. The only problem I have and foresee with this technique is most of the time, if you're essentially, if you're running Gwaniafin or Lady G on a DO team with Kafka, you're probably going to always want to use Kafka's technique before you enter that battle. So that's the only concern I have with this. But since it's uh, dealing damage to a random enemy and has a chance of inflicting fire kiss, you could essentially affect multiple enemies over the course of a couple turns with fire kiss. So maybe you wouldn't need to use Kafka's uh, technique before the fight. But I'm really intrigued to test that out. I think that's the only problem I foresee with her technique. But nonetheless, it looks pretty cool. Moving on over to her skill, Blazing Welcome, uh, deals fire damage to a single enemy target and deals percentage of fire damage to adjacent enemies with a chance to burn them. When burned, they will take fire DOT at the beginning of each turn, lasts a set number of turns, pretty standard. Um, my, I was hoping that this would also be able to stack the burns. Maybe it can on top of Fire Kiss. Again, that's just gonna take some testing, but nonetheless, I think it looks like a, a pretty cool animation. Now over to her ultimate, I'd say her ultimate, watch this showstopper is pretty rad. Uh, she bangs this gong a few times, summons these little fire dudes and causes this unga bunga major explosion. She's basically channeling her inner Klee, but deals fire damage to all enemies. If the enemy is currently inflicted with burn, their burn status immediately produces damage equal to a certain percentage. Essentially, this is kind of like a fire version of Kafka's detonation. Um, it's, it's pretty much, it, it functions pretty much the same way. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a nutshell of her kit. Now, if we jump over into the actual game, I do have Kafka. This is kind of my bare bones Kafka team that I usually run. Don't mind my level 50 Sampo. I'm working on building him, but for the most part, I'd say this is my standardized Kafka team. I really like pairing her with Asta for the speed and attack boost. Obviously you need a healer who better than Luocha. And then usually you kind of have a sub uh, DOT DPS. I would say Sampo is kind of the bar none best in slot right now. You can obviously do Serval. Uh, you can do Luca, but I just think Sampo is so good at applying wind shear that it's hard to not utilize him. My question is, will Lady G's DOT application or burn application be better than Sampo's? I kind of doubt it. But could, could there be a situation in where you run Sampo and her? The problem is you're not really going to get the ability to use a Harmony character such as Asta if you're running, you know, kind of two DOT sub DPSs or, you know, damage supports. But I, I definitely would be interested in trying it out. Or like I said, if Lady G's 
burn application is sufficient, maybe you can replace sample with it. Maybe we her Eidolons significantly changed how she functions and her application is even more nutty. We don't know yet, but I do think she brings a, a value to the game. Kafka has definitely been lacking some some good supports. I think they're only going to get better. I'm sure in the future we could have a five-star unit that has some interactions with DOT, but I'm really excited for Lady G. I think she definitely has a place in the game, and I'm excited to test her out with Queen Kafka. But that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give my quick and dirty thoughts on Lady G, and comment down below. Are you excited for her? Are you excited for Topaz? Are you completely skipping the second half of uh, 1.4? for our Genti or Hua Hua. But that's pretty much it. If you made it this long to the video, uh, I love you. And comment down below what you had for breakfast. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.